everyone, I'm Hannah Cousins and I'm a portrait photographer and I'm going to be bringing you behind the scenes on my latest shoot. Now I've just been commissioned by ASICS who are a sportswear company to shoot their International Women's Day campaign for 2020. I'm going to bring you all the way along with me from all the setups so we're just about to get started with what's required then I'm going to bring you along to the shoot, the editing process and basically show you what it's like to shoot a campaign from beginning to end. It might be smooth sailing or it could be a complete mess but let's see how we go but come along with me. So I've just come off a Skype call with ASICS and uh, we're trying to coordinate 10 athletes that are flying in from all different parts of Europe and uh, my task now is to put together a shooting schedule for uh, when the girls are going to arrive, when they're going to go to hair and makeup, when they're going to be with me etc. Um, but I've got basically a schedule of uh, flight arrival times for all of these girls and now I've got to put something together where uh, the times are all going to work out and uh, we put a schedule together and uh, it's a bit of a challenge. <laughs> So it's a week to go until the shoot and uh, I've ordered a background paper roll, of, it's a colour blue uh, which we've agreed with the client so I just want to make sure firstly that it's been delivered and secondly that it's the right colour blue. I also want to just sort of try a couple of different lighting setups to send to them ahead of the shoot next week just to make sure it's all as smooth as possible and we've all agreed it so let's hope in here there's a blue background. Right so I think it's back here. I've got a feeling it's going to be like that colour. Oh, that's definitely blue. So now the question is, is, is it going to look any different once it's lit? So let's rig this up and uh, give it a go and see what it looks like. Yep, that's uh, it's definitely blue. Can I get you much higher? That's, that's my limit. Oh, thank God. <laughs> awesome. All right, so that looks like it's, it's gonna work. So yeah, it looks completely even. I don't know if you can even see this, but that's what I'm looking for. At the moment, this isn't gonna win any awards, but I'm just making sure we haven't got all, oh, the shot's gonna be in here but I just want to make sure at the moment there's no weird shadows going on, it's completely even. So that's what I'm looking for at the moment. So, and it's going to be that colour and that's what we need. All right, so I've just sent those test images that I shot today off to the client and they've just come back to me and approved the colour, so that's brilliant. That all lines up. And um, for me, I'm still not sure about the lighting. I feel like I kind of like a bit more shadow on it, but until we're there on the day, there are things I can fix later, but at least we've got the colour sorted, so that was worth the trip today. So we are the day before the shoot and um, something kind of unexpected but very British is happening. Um, there is a massive storm come in and uh, it is massive. There's lots of flights that have been cancelled and trees are down and things like that. So uh, we have 10 athletes coming in, I believe, from all over Europe. So at the moment, everyone is on edge, very touch and go as to uh, if they're going to make it tomorrow, if flights are going to be ca like cancelled and rescheduled, we don't know. Um, so at the moment, we just need to get to the studio and keep an eye on uh, everybody's details and flights to see if they make it. But hurrah, always the thing that's unexpected, eh? Never mind, never mind, I'll crack on. This evening, tonight, tomorrow morning here, oh, it's icy as well as temperatures fall close to freezing. And that's a possibility just about anywhere where you've had these showers. So what we do know is that Christina's flight has been cancelled due to the weather. <laughs> she was supposed to be first, so hopefully we can move her down the bottom and she can get another flight and still make it. I wanted that exactly it because I wanted you to look 
like, because I knew you'd crack up laughing if I said that. But I was like, you did a fantastic. All right, so we've got one more to go. Um, the lady that we're just waiting on now, she um, was supposed to be here on Sunday, but couldn't get here because of the storm. So we're just waiting on her and then it's done. Um, it's been a real manic day and a very quick turnaround. The guys are just over there actually choosing the images right now. So I've literally just shot them and I've still got one more to shoot and they're actually going through and choosing which ones they want because it's going to be a very quick turnaround, but nearly there. Real, take towards me. Excellent girl, nice job, nice job. Okay, yeah, good, good, superb. I love that big smile, fantastic, awesome. So we have just finished, I'm exhausted, but went really well, really, really well. So we're just making the final selections um, on the last model. We're gonna get these online tonight um, and get them sent over. But it's all gone really, really well. So now I need to pack down and get some more coffee. All right, so here we are, day after the shoot, and everything went really well. Um, I'm about to get cracking with the editing, but what you will notice is that the end result <laughs> is nothing like the initial blue that we set up. This happens quite frequently on set, sometimes with a the client there, once everything's in front of you, uh, you sort of work together to get the end result. So we went from having that light blue uh, to sort of, they wanted something quite gritty and quite raw, so we ended up, I said to them, should I just shoot this the way that I would shoot it? And we ended up with a teal background, not blue at all, and we went down to one light, but it kind of is a bit more raw. The idea is the girls have just been working out and it's, uh, you know, the sweat, you know, they kind of, I wanted it a bit more gritty. And for me to go back to one light and, you know, kind of add some shadow in and make that background a bit more teal, I think, uh, yeah, I shot a couple of frames and, you know, thankfully the client was with me and was on board with that. And uh, we're all happy now, which is great. So now we're just gonna work through these edits and uh, get ready for them. So now we're just going ahead and do this for every single one and we should be in good shape. So after several days of very late nights and a lot of emails, I think we are there. I'm just about to upload the final images over to the client and all being well, the next time I shall see them will be on the day of the launch. Fingers crossed. Well, today is Sunday the 8th of March, which is International Women's Day, and I've had a few notifications already, so I'm presuming that the campaign has gone live, so take a look. A six. Oh, cool, there it is. Oh, that's nice, they've made like a montage. Um, that's cool, that's not what I was expecting, but that's, that's really cool, excellent. All right, oh, it says, in the upcoming days, 10 female members of ASIC's Frontrunner will share how running improved their lives. Stay tuned for our posts and stories. That's cool, excellent. So the stories I know will look a little bit like this. So each story will be looking like this. So we've got lovely Chimsy and Susan and Zonitsa, really nice, lovely. Cool, that's fun, excellent. So there you have it, that is what a campaign looks like from beginning to end. Now obviously ASIC's going to be posting more images over the next few days to roll out the campaign, but I hope that's given you a little insight into the madness that goes on in these commercial shoots and I hope that's been helpful. So let us know what you think, leave us a comment below and let us know if you want to see some more of these. But thank you for watching and we will see you next time.